Keisha's Kitchen. So roomies, go get your plates, grab your food, and come sit down to eat with me. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Enjoy watching y'all. Now let's eat. Hey roomies, how y'all doing? If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here a while, then you know it's time for that countdown. Three, two, one, go. So roomies, let me introduce to you what I got. Today I got meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and I got steamed vegetables. It's one of my favorite things to eat. I love, I love steamed vegetables. So roomies, a lot of um, I noticed a lot of people that are like non-YouTubers. A lot of them, they don't really realize how much work goes into doing a video. Like people think like. Well, how hard can it be to just sit at a table and eat? But then I realized it's more than just sitting down and eating at a table when you when you do like mukbang videos. Because when you're first new at it and you and you first start doing videos, at first you're not going to really realize that about the lighting that you have to have in the, in your videos. Or the fact that it's hard to do a video with just your phone. Because a lot of times, depending on the type of phone you have, a lot of times it'll cut half of your head off. Or some people have got to worry about holding the phone with their hand and trying to eat with the other hand. And buying, like some people will use like a tablet, a laptop. Well, I don't know about a laptop, maybe a tablet or a camera but it takes a lot of work because you got to watch videos about what type of lights you got to buy and then you got to watch YouTube videos on what type of camera is good to use or microphones or all that stuff And YouTube channels, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. And 
And a lot of times you gotta stay up. You gotta stay up doing lives. Like going live to get your watch hours. And then you gotta build your subscribe account. And sometimes in like videos, whether you're doing live or whether you're doing a regular video, there's so many rules that come along with doing a YouTube video. Like for example, you got to choose if you want your channel to be like family friendly or adult friendly because it's like different categories when it comes to that. It takes a lot of planning because like by the time you get the right lights and the camera you also gotta like figure out how to how to set up your lights how to set up the camera and you gotta watch a lot of videos on how to work your camera because it's not gonna be easy just right away when you do it. It takes time. A lot of time and a lot of practice. And on top of it, you gotta watch videos on like on how to edit a video. Cause let me tell you, editing a video if you, if it's not something you do on the regular, it'll t it takes a lot of time to learn. Like this um this one time in Houston for example I was on the elevator and I had on um had on my roommate's shirt and the YouTube symbol in the middle in the middle of my chest with my with the channel name and so one of the bellboys that worked at um, that worked at one the hotel that the meeting greet was at. He gets on the elevator at the same time I do, and he at, he says to me, he's like, he's like, you're a YouTuber, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I am. And he's like, is that all you do? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, pretty much. He's like, must be nice. Like, he was saying, like, it must be nice to be able to just do YouTube and not to have to go to work. 
I mean, to be honest with you, to me, YouTube is kind of like a job. Only difference is you don't have to worry about clocking in and clocking out. But it is a job to like have to plan and think about like what you're going to talk about in the video. Or, or what you're going to cook for the video. On top of it, presentation is everything. Like the way, the way you present the food, or the way you put the food on the tray, the way that you take the pictures, the angle of the pictures you got to take. And I'm also doing the video of the food for at the beginning of the videos. And on top of it, it's like guidelines. Like certain things you can and can't say in the video. Like you can't talk about certain things or you can't have no cuss words. Because it's like certain things that you talk about that's like that's like when YouTube you gotta watch what you say a lot. Cause otherwise you gotta worry about them banning your channel. Cause they don't like your content. Or like when you go on live, like when you do a live video. The thing about it that kind of annoys me is doing the live. You cannot play music. Like you can't play the type of music that's like uh, like so you can't play like uh like mu music with artists on it. Like if you play music, it has to be like like either beats, like beats that you made up your like a song that you either beats you made up yourself, or like musical beats you found online, or like a playlist. You can't have like Jay Z's or. Beyonce or Kanye West or any of them like singing in your video or you can't even have the TV on because one time I wanted to go live One time I wanted to go live, me doing like an exercise video. But because of music in the video, I couldn't do it. Me personally, I think like if you do a live, I always think it's fun if like 
your your uh, your watch system is live. And they got music playing. Like music playing while they're talking. And it's kinda like you guys are just like it's kinda like talking to a person on a face chat and just like hanging out. The only thing about labs I get like kind of embarrassed about. Is like certain people's channel. I have trouble. I, I'll have trouble like seeing it on the screen because when it comes up on the screen, it's like real small letters. I can't, and it's like with small letters, my vision's kind of blurry. So I have to like sit there. And just stare at the screen like kind of squint me like, well, what's that person's channel name? I'll just be looking confused and stuff. Or it's like, and then the comments, they come in like so fast that it's hard to like, it's hard to sometimes like talk. It's kind of like a live are doing like almost two to three things at once. Because in the live you got to talk, and then you got to read what's on the screen. And some people will do three things at once. They'll be like, they'll be talking, reading people's comments, and then trying to eat at the same time. And then like sometimes like sometimes you'll have like that one rude person in your live asking you like questions that probably make you uncomfortable to answer. Gotta figure out like how do I block this person? Because like you don't want to be rude. You don't want to look like like you're being rude and alive. When you're just trying to interact with um with your audience. <clears throat> but thing the thing I like about live is it's a fast. It's a fast way to get your watch hours. Especially once you get once you hit your thousand subscribers and you gotta have you gotta have your four thousand hours of watch time. So for me personally I was thinking to myself like I was thinking I don't really wanna do the live until I like hit this many this many subscribers. I'd rather wait until like I got the subscribers then do the live because then that way to me it's like faster to have my channel I mean have the channel monetized on my personal channel which is um, unpredictable me in case you guys didn't know for those of you that are new but it's like it's a lot of work like especially if you're doing a buy if you don't have like roommates, like if you don't have friends or roommates helping you and you're doing it by yourself, it takes a lot, a lot of time, a lot of work, and a lot of hours and patience. Like me personally, I don't think, I don't think I would have been able to do it by myself. I feel, I feel so lucky I had Keisha and Junior help me out with that because if it was up to me, if 
I, I, if I was, I would not be doing it by myself. Because, like, all the time and the work that goes into it, I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have had the patience to do it. I would have been, like, thinking, like, I, would, I wouldn't have been patient because I would have been thinking, like, I'm not getting paid right away. And on top of it, you got to wait a month to get your first check. And that's what, that's what a lot of people, when they have jobs, they don't realize it. That with a job, with a job, yeah, you got to answer to a boss. But on top of it, like, you got to answer to a boss. It's like upsides and downsides. So, like, doing a YouTube channel and having a job. Like, a lot of people will compare having a job to a YouTube channel. Because they think that the YouTube is easy money. It's not so much fast easy money because, like, you got to spend a lot of time trying to get your channel monetized. I mean, get your, your thousand subscribers, your 4,000 hours of watch time. And for some people, that does, that takes that'll take about three months. So imagine, imagine like not having any income at all and only doing YouTube. Like when you first get into it, it's always good to have like another source of income because you're not gonna get your first check until like at least two or three months, depending on how dedicated you are to your channel. Because once once you hit that, that three month barrier where you got your subscribers, you got your watch hours, and then you got your first check, you got to constantly do videos. Like if if you wanna do videos every day, you have to like really dedicate yourself. Like you gotta do like you gotta do more than one video a day. So what I would recommend is if you're gonna do like mukbang videos that you shouldn't do like an enormous size portions you should do like small portions so that way you could have like two three videos a day or even four you got because you got four meals in a day if you think about it you got you got breakfast lunch dinner snack dessert i mean you can do any type of mukbang it doesn't have to be like lunch or dinner Shoot, there are people that do like cereal mukbangs. It's not really important like like what you eat in the video. It's more like important like whether you have interesting content. And that because no one's really gonna watch a video. If um if you're doing like ASMR, that does get views for a little while, but then after a while people stop wanting to watch because they're thinking like, okay, it's boring. When is this person gonna talk? Like they're thinking that. So roomies, I'm all done eating. I had so much fun eating and talking with you guys, but now it's time to close out. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, y'all. We love you. Remember to live, love, and laugh. Bye, y'all.